Hey there, folks. This is Josh, and um, I wanted to try and get um, this sort of a game started where um, I, um, well, basically, um, I used to play D&D &D a lot when I was um, younger, and um, it's always something in my mind that, you know, I'd always like to, you know, try and get going again, um, but with my um, amazingly tight work schedule, you know, um, but also just, you know, having Christian values now and, um, other concerns, um, the idea of doing a game like this and also having something to, you know, that, um, <coughs> that, you know, I'm not always sure if I can stick with it or not. Um, I kind of want to go back to an idea that a friend of mine started, um, back when I was like a teenager and it was simply, um, you know, the kind of uncertain beginning where, um, you know, starts off as sort of like a choose-your-own-adventure story, and um, wherever it goes, it goes kind of a thing. And I've tried to do many of those in the past that have had explanations or not had explanations. And now with the fact that I have a new MacBook, um, I, and, and, well, with the camera and all, um, meaning that I can do a quick... Um, I, I want to do a, I want to do something where, um, I would kind of mix a little bit of vlogging, you know, a pre-written story mixed in with, um, you know, the dice rolling and all that stuff. Um, so what I was going to suggest is, um, at this point, I'm not really sure where I'm going to actually house or, or host, um, this particular game. I'm kind of torn between Mythweavers and obsidian portal um but what it basically boils down to is i really do want to start another um D, D game um one that's played on laptops and computers not so much pen and paper um and there's a lot of tools out there that can help you if you're interested in this sort of thing um i don't know exact stuff and i'm not going to re recommend specific stuff um but if you have an iPhone or maybe even a Droid, you might find this on. Um, there's a lot of dice roller apps. There's a lot of character generation apps. There's a lot of stuff that, you know, can basically help. Um, one thing, though, is I'm not completely versed in... Uh, I, I do want to use the Dungeons & Dragons system of gameplay, but I'm not completely versed in 4.0. So... This is going to be a um, 3.0 or 3.5 at best uh, based game. And if at some point um, people and me can make an easy transition over to 4.0, um, I'll do that. But for now, and, and, and from what I've heard, I may want to get into Pathfinder because Pathfinder is kind of an extension of the 3.5 game. Not really sure yet, but um, kind of the point of this is that I want to get into something that um, those of us who have um, options to easily upload video to um, YouTube um, can get involved in. Um, I would like to use YouTube as the hosting site for the videos, but the actual game at some point will either end up on uh, Mythweavers or Obsidian Portal. Um, that being said, um, the... Um, Gameplay itself will be um, a mix of your own cunning and, you know, ability to think and reason, and a mixture of um, dice rolling and rules of those games. Um, like I said before, I'm not going to recommend specific apps or um, downloaded programs or website tools. Um, there are a lot of them out there. Um, at different points in the game, I am going to... Um, Basically, there's there's going to be points where um, I'll read to you something that I wrote as part of the pre, you know, scripted story for that moment. And then there'll be, you know, things where um, the story can change depending on how dice are rolled. And that's generally, or, or, or depending on choices, like if, if I can give you obvious choices, um, but generally speaking... Your characters are going to have, you know, an attribute that you kind of are really strong in. Um, and that's sort of 
for this time around, I kind of want to go with the idea that you are your character in the sense that it kind of works into how this, how this all starts out. But, um, the idea is that, you know, I'm going to take you through kind of, um, a generic or general starting point for everybody. And based on the choices you make, the dice you roll and all that sort of thing, everybody who plays will have, um, their own path. Um, until such time as you meet up with another player, and for so long as you choose to be in that player's adventuring party. Um, now, at first, this is going to be kind of lengthy and kind of, dif you know, may seem like it's difficult to get going, um, but the idea is that um, as the game progresses, I'll be able to link your choices um, or the choices of other players to pre existing video footage. So that when you enter a room or um, a location, um, you know, for the first time, um, you may come across a, a video description of a place somebody else has already been in the chain of, you know, it's kind of like a choose your own adventure kind of thing. And I know a lot of those things are popular, popular on YouTube, but a lot of them are pre-scripted. You know, the, the person that makes a video already knows where the things are going to go and what, what things are going to happen. Um, even if it seems like they, you know, be, like basically, you know, in, in, in the average YouTube choose your own adventure game, um, if the entire story and all the choices that you could possibly make in the story comprise maybe 60 videos, as a, as a rough example then that's all the videos that will ever be uploaded for that story. But what I'm talking about is something where um, as people join in the game, there will be more videos uploaded based on the story. And as more people join the game and make choices, there's only going to be a certain number of choices no matter what kind of die you roll. So, um, you know, to give you an example, um, if you were to base the character on yourself... You know, a lot of the choices that you make in the beginning of the game um, would eventually lead to the type of character you'll become. And since there are only six abilities in the D&D game system, um, strength, intelligence, wisdom, constitution, strength, intelligence, wisdom, constitution, dexterity, and charisma... <coughs> Um, there's only six abilities, and all of the character classes in the game are based on extensions of those six abilities, and any of the playable character races add modifications to those six abilities. And out of it all, um, you really only end up, or should end up, with one prime ability and the rest, and a couple of supporting abilities, and then a couple of sub um, lower level abilities that sort of balance out. So if like you're really strong, you might not be really fast. Or you might not be really smart. If you're really smart, you might not be really strong. If you're really wise, you might not be really fast. You know, kind of thing. So it's it's you know an idea to add balance to the game. Um, so what we're gonna do is, um, that being said, um, if you would like to play the game, click on um, the next. Well, click on my video response that's you know below. Um, and from there. Um, the game will begin. Um, now, basically, um, it, it'll every every game step will start off with me saying, "Here's here's a description of where you're at, what's going on, and the choices that you have without having to roll dice." Um, but if if it becomes something that is like a pass or fail skill situation, you will have to roll dice, and you will have to. Um, come up with your own dice roller, that kind of thing. And basically, I have to, my job as the game master is I have to come up with possible um, outcomes based on any die roll that you make, you know, so, or any choice that you make. And that's kind of where it's fun for me. And it might be fun for you. So, here goes. If you want to start playing the game now, click the link below, the response video that I have. Um, and we'll and we'll see how this goes.